Life, anime, gaming. You should be collecting. Hi, it's Dondi. Um, I'm back on the channel today. I've been out for a bit because I've been sick, uh, and um, I'm getting to feeling better now. And today we're doing another collector spotlight. Um, I want to introduce everybody to Aaron. Aaron, why don't you tell everybody about yourself? Hey, everybody. Well, I'm Aaron. I'm from uh, the channel Cold Bane Games. Uh, do a lot of like YouTube. I do mostly like gaming stuff, but I also do collect. Like I, for a while, I took a break from gaming and really spotlighted on my collections and my collecting habits, and of course, you know, my unboxing of toys. Because you know, heaven forbid, I keep anything in a package. You know, it, it seems like I just, you know, I could have left this guy in the box. No, I did not. <laughs> took him out and played with him and popped a few pieces off, and I was like, oops, there goes his value. <laughs> well, a lot of collectors say that, you know, the toys need to be out of the box. It's called plastic crack for a reason. <laughs> yeah, exactly, man. <laughs> so, you got anything else to say? You want to talk about your links and, you know, uh, what, what you what you do? So, anyway, what I do is I do, like like I said, I do Let's Plays, toy unboxings. Uh, I do Gunpla builds, which is a big thing for me because, I, I, you know, growing up, Gunpla was a huge thing for me. So now it's, like, back and popular, but it's and it's an expensive hobby, I found out. Like, it, <laughs> I... I I, I, you know, packages come to the house and my wife goes, Aaron, <laughs> why is there a uh, big box from USA Gundam on here? And I was like, uh, someone loves me? <laughs> yeah, I got it, it for, for free. Yeah, <laughs> I like to use the word, I got it for free, when really it was, you know, it was free to somebody, but it wasn't to me. <laughs> That's funny. Somebody made money off my behind, but anyway, yeah, I've been doing, uh, I've been doing my YouTube channel now for about three years. I've been in the YouTube business for about five. Okay. Um, started off with a, another channel that you know because of because of reasons I cannot name. So you know, <laughs> it's, I, I, I don't plug I don't plug dead channels. So, but you know I was in that for a long time. Uh, I did that for two years, and then all of a sudden, you know, me and my partner had you know agree you know creative differences. Okay. I and I created Cold Bane Games, and I was like, what do I do? So I sat there for a minute, and I was like, okay, I, I think I know what I need to do. I need to get back into gaming. Did that for a little while. Had a crappy computer that could not handle the gaming. <laughs> so I went to doing Let's Plays, food videos, and uh, thrift videos. And I literally I literally became fat-bearded Martha Stewart for a little while and was doing craft <laughs> videos. That's funny. You know, fall crafts. I was burning myself with a hot glue gun. Uh, I've had a few partners in the channel that are still, you know, They've kind of come and gone or have taken breaks as needed. You know, there's Noah, who is running Norse Leprechaun Gaming now. Mm -hmm. uh, there's I'm Will, who who's taking a hiatus right now. He's going to come back. We're working on a new project back. together. And then there's Katie, who is uh, Will's sister, who actually jumped in before Will. Uh -huh. And then she was like, I can't, you know, I want to take a break. She <laughs> took a break. And then Will jumps in, and then she's like, oh, when can I come back? I was like... <laughs> Let me see how well Will does first, you know. And I, I'm not, I'm not that bad of a tyrant, I promise. <laughs> but. Well, um, I, I, me in particular, really enjoy your Sims uh, Let's Plays. Oh uh, God, dude! I that, mean, that it's, like... uh, if you haven't seen his channel or haven't watched, you really should check it out because he does uh, live uh, videos and playing the Sims, and you actually can be put in the game, and then the hijinks and. All the stuff that goes on, it's crazy. Oh god, dude, it is yeah. so much fun. Like, it is way too much fun. I mean, yeah. like, watching, watching like, someone get pregnant by being abducted by aliens, and then all of a sudden, <laughs> you know, this fat guy who got preg pregnant by aliens is now, like, all the way out to here pregnant. <laughs> and, you know, it is, it is flame, it is flame red underwear and red fire socks and, you know, Crocs. Yeah. And that's at crazy. the same time, that's Noah, you know. I, you know, I, Noah has become the punch. Everybody's like, you got to do something no, to Noah every week. And I'm like, I can't do it to Noah every week. So, <laughs> you know, I did I, I did the Dondi playthrough, which was really good. The Dondi San Diego story really sold. Like, I, I was like, <laughs> wow. I, you know, I never thought that, you know, I could... I never thought that I could take the game... Originally, I never wanted to play The Sims. Like, yeah. dude, The Sims was, like, the last thing on my mind. Like, I never never thought you know i kept saying no i'm not gonna play the sims it's boring i don't want to bore people to death <laughs> and then all of a sudden you know i watched a couple of youtubers who have been real big inspirations for me which is gray still plays mm -hmm. you ever get a chance to watch his stuff dude he puts his sims through like nightmarish <laughs> hellscapes 
of like houses and I'm just like if Gray can make this look fun I want to try to make this look fun so I did it and now all of a sudden here I am yeah um we've met you've also you know you've gotten some people to show up and you made friends like Jade I mean oh god yeah, yeah. I mean like I did not expect to have a friend from Great Britain <laughs> to form off of a fan you know it was it was funny because she you know she messaged me after you know she found me on Facebook which was kind of you know at first, I had Stranger Danger pop up. And I was like, "Wait a minute, no, this is a fan. I can't have Stranger Danger." Fans. You know, I'm not that kind of I'm not that kind of YouTuber yet. You know, I'm not PewDiePie. But you know, uh, I I looked at her and I was I, you know I talked with her a little bit and she was like, "Dude, you're like my favorite person to watch," and that made my heart melt. Which actually, she's got a surprise coming to her within a few weeks. I'm actually sending out my first uh, comrade crate. Oh, that's cool. Yeah. Yeah, I can't wait for your T-shirt, which uh, the, the uh, but I'm not gonna tell y'all what it is because I don't. You have to watch this Let's Play to, to find out what a T-shirt's gonna be. So but once you watch it, you'll be like, I want a T-shirt. She's getting the first demo shirt, by the oh, way. Yeah, she's, yeah. I, I had to, I had to give her the first shirt because you know she was like, you know she she was having a rough time, and I was like, I gotta send her something to make things better. <laughs> so yeah. All right, well, we're going to go ahead and start the questions. And, uh, yeah, so, let me pull those uh, up because I have... Uh, this way we'll get to know you a little bit better. I mean, it's gonna, I'm, I'm interested in all this because I don't... I mean, I've, I'm a new friend to you, and yeah. it's going to be interesting to what these questions, before you hear what you're going to say for these questions. So, uh, um, the, no, the first one I got is, what franchise do you primarily, primarily collect? And when I say collect, that means you can talk about anything you collect. So, what do you like? And, and I know one of them is, what, what one of them is going to be. But, so, so go ahead and tell me what you what you collect. So, uh, of course, you know the first one is always going to be Alien. Like, yes. I have to show off one of them. You know, our <laughs> mutual friend Omar, how we met, yeah. gave me this like a few weeks back, and I this was like on my list of to collect. Yeah. So you know, it's a little eight bit Alien Three pop. That's cool. Which, if you ever played the Alien Three video game, that bitch was hard. Dude, <laughs> <laughs> it was a it was a toy that I I saw from Universal Earth and I, or Entertainment Earth, and I was yeah. like. I gotta have this, and every time I go to order it, they were sold out. So Omar got one, and he was like, "Bro, here you go." <laughs> yep. Omar's that type of person. He's a really yeah. good guy. Yeah. But I've, I've got like, I really didn't get into collecting the alien figures until recently because I. So growing up, I was terrified of the movie Alien, and then my dad bought Alien Three to game for the Sega Genesis just to torture me a little more. Must be. <laughs> I, I don't know. He must have been. He must have enjoyed it. And ever since like I was ten years old. When I finally saw a guy in a costume dressed up as the alien, and I realized, oh, it has a zipper in the back. <laughs> My fear went away, and then it became an obsession. Like yeah. I, I, I took what I was afraid of, and now I'm just so obsessed. Like I've talked about getting sleeve tattoos where the hand, you know, where it goes face hugger from the palm, That'd be all cool. the way up to like the queen on my shoulder. Sounds like me and the Hulk. Cause I want yeah, Hulk, uh, uh, you know, as a tattoo. <laughs> I mean, you know, you don't get to see this often, but I have like this sitting right there by my desk where I can sit there and look at it. Uh, you were showing me the uh, NECA Alien Queen today. I actually got yeah. that, and I've got a funny story about that that I'll tell you. I'll tell you a little later on. Okay. Yeah, I went back to try to get the Alien Queen, and I, I didn't pick it up when I showed it to you. And then I went back, and it was gone. I'm like, dang it! I'm telling you, dude, that NECA Queen is if if you can find it at a cheap price like that, you're you're golden now. Yeah. <laughs> you know. Okay, I will tell you the story about that because okay, you know, this is like one of my favorite. You know, since it is my the thing I collect. Like I have more Alien stuff. Uh -huh. And then I also like Star Wars stuff. I mean, of course, I like the Fat Man dude. Yeah, yeah. Like with that, you know, so the character with only five minutes gets the most fans. You know? But you know, I ordered that Alien Queen from an overseas shipper, okay. someone who had who got like a whole lot of them, where there were damaged boxes from Ch the Chinese factory. Yeah. And of course, you know, I'm very wary of Chinese products, like Chinese toys. Yeah. God, I'm doing the hands, China. <laughs> China, <laughs> you know it's it's funny, like, but you know I I ordered the uh, I ordered the Alien Queen. Due date was like February of 2018. Okay. So February of 2018 goes by, and I ain't got no Alien Queen. Uh oh. <laughs> and I messaged I messaged this Chinese dealer, and I'm like, bruh, where, where's my queen? <laughs> and he's like. Don't worry, friend. It coming. It will be soon. Yeah. And I'm like, is he threatening me? <laughs> so I, I go through and I wait like a few more weeks and I'm like, bro, can you send me like a tracking number or something? And he goes, here's tracking number, friend. 
First off, I don't know you. Don't call me friend if I don't know you, because that creeps me out. It's like some serious children in the corn stuff. Yeah. Uh, children of the corn, excuse me. And, uh, you know, I'm like, I try the tracking number out, and it doesn't work for UPS. It doesn't work for FedEx. DHL doesn't, and DHL is the big Chinese, like, shipper. That's where, yeah. if you're getting anything from China, it's going to come from by DHL. Um, found that out. And, I, <laughs> you know, I, I contact eBay, and I'm like, dude, I paid 120 bucks for this Alien Queen. Uh, this guy has given me, like, a fake tracking number, and he keeps calling me friend, and I'm not, I'm not his friend, you know, I'm not his buddy guy. <laughs> you know, and... The, the guy, the the the, con, the person at eBay, I can't remember his name, but he was super awesome. He was like, "We'll look into it." So they asked, they talked to the guy. The seller gets all shady with him, like he doesn't want to deal with eBay. Like he is so afraid to deal with eBay. He shoots me another email. Why did you go to eBay, friend? <laughs> Boy is on way. I promise, on way. I'm like, well, the tracking number you gave me did not work. You have another tracking number. So he gives me another tracking number, and of course I try it. Doesn't work. Give it to eBay. eBay tries it. It doesn't work for them. They refund me my money. Yeah. Let's see. April of 2018, I get a beat up package from China <laughs> on my front porch. Now, mind you, this is four months after I've ordered this thing <laughs> because I ordered it back in like December, and it came in April. <laughs> and I was like, "What is this?" I'm like, I got my money back. I look at it. I, I open the box up. It's beat up on the inside. The box is like all jumbled up. Like you can tell they, they threw this thing together quick. No <laughs> packaging whatsoever. Our hearts are hanging out of the box. Oh, wow. And it's the alien queen. And I put her together and she stands up and she, and the box was legit NECA. Everything was legit NECA. Like I looked to see if there was any like, you know. So it wasn't a fake. So that's yeah, make fake. sure there wasn't like a third mouth yeah. in there or, you know. <laughs> seven arms or something like that no it was legit yeah and it was just you could tell it was a factory defect yeah because the little fins had broken off okay like they had one of them had broken off and they were just you know, the factory was like we don't want this yeah you, you do what you want with it yeah so that was that's my funny story I got a free alien figure <laughs> a free $120 alien figure from a um, hey you can't beat free <laughs> no ex exactly especially yeah. when you know you get called friend the whole time I, he was such a nice friend he gave me for free <laughs> I'm gonna start doing that now when I yeah. see you be like hi friend <laughs> what you ought to do is start doing that with all your with all your uh, eBay sales hello friend hello friend <laughs> I sell you product <laughs> I, I am, I am, sir. I'll be like, I am Robot Gandhi. You gotta use, like, bro you gotta use like bad, broken English. <laughs> Hi, friend. Toy on way. Be patient. Be kind. All right, so next question. So how did you start your collection, collection and what was your first figure? So, I, to be honest with you, I didn't start until, like, a few years ago. Okay. I, I've had a lot of, like, so I really got into a real dark place in my life. Okay. Uh, I lost my dad when I was uh, when I was yeah, I lost him in 2012, and then right behind him I lost the grandfather that pretty much raised me. You know, I, I was raised by my parents, but I spent every weekend with my dad's dad okay. on the farm. Okay. And when he passed away, he, you know, I just started getting into a little bit of collecting, but I really didn't. You know, I had like a few Star Wars figures that I really wanted and I thought were cool, and I was looking for a hobby to really kind of like get me out of that funk. Okay. And I really wanted, like, Star Wars stuff. I wanted, and, you know, at that point, I think Prometheus had been, had come out. It was, it was right around the time that Prometheus had come out that I wanted to get some of the NECA figures, because I thought they looked cool. Yeah. And my grandfather left me, you know, he left me some property and a little, and a little, you know, little satchel of money no, not a satchel you know he left me an inheritance yeah that of course I blew on you know hookers and blow but of course you know, <laughs> yeah no, I'm kidding I'm kidding I, I, that, I blew, that kind of, we're not having that kind of interview sir <laughs> I, actually, I actually blew it on like I actually bought a new car for my wife and you know I, I did some other I did some things for friends as well but I also went and started setting up my collection room because okay. I wanted I went and bought new shelves I bought a new computer that became my recording computer. I, I did all. I went and got all kinds of stuff because I wanted to really get into the collecting stuff. Okay. So if you go back and look at some of my old videos, you can actually see that collection room before I've actually like 
shut it down for right now because I'm getting ready to move, so I wanted yeah. to have everything kind of ready to go. Um, but you can see it grow throughout the videos. Like at first, it was a, you know, a, a I want to say the first figure I ever really got was a. Uh, oh, I can't really remember the first figure I got, but I remember the first set of figures I got was like some of the uh, NECA engineers. Okay. From uh, Prometheus. Yeah. I got that. I got a few alien figures that I really wanted. Like I got a, I got a couple of xenomorphs. I got like the NECA gorilla, the NECA mantis from like the first wave of the NECA uh, Kenner re-release. Yeah. And I got a few Predator figures and stuff like that because I was really into Alien. I was really into Predator. I got a bunch of Star Wars stuff. I got a bunch of Boba Fett stuff, dude, because, you know, I'm, I'm the fat man through and through. Yeah. Like, I'm big on the Mandalorian stuff, so. So I got a, I got all this stuff like that, and I set it up in waves, and I even got Funko Pops because I like Funko Pops, too. Like, I collect everything, dude. I'm, 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 I haven't been, like, quick to, like, say, no, I won't collect that. You know, if, it, if I like it, I'll collect it. If I think it looks nice, I'll get it. Yeah. Well, I mean, uh, there's some people out there who don't like Funko, and I used to collect Funko for a while there, but I've kind of started getting out of it, because, you know, I mean, you know, I'm more of a retro collector, and, you know, yeah. Funko, yeah, there's some of the Fun Funkos that are, you know, can, are kind of re retro, retro-based, but um, to me, uh, you know, it just, I, I just don't know, I just kind of fell out of liking Funko, but, uh. I mean, it, it is. It's, this is this is uh, hobbies about what you like. So do what you yeah. what you like. Don't let anybody tell you. You know, oh, exactly. Yeah, that anything different. So, moving on. Uh, let's see. Uh, what's your favorite figure in your collection, and why is it your favorite? Oh, that's a tough one. Um, to be honest, you might you might this might surprise you because I know you're thinking you know it's gonna be one of my alien figures. Uh huh. Or maybe but, uh, one of your Gundams. Yeah, well, it, to be honest, it's neither one of those. It's actually a, it's actually the Metal Gear Rex that I have. Oh, cool. Yeah, I don't have it with me right now. Like I said, it's kind of boxed up. It, but it was a model kit. This was uh -huh. really cool. Like I saw this online for like eighty bucks, and I was like, I'm gonna wait for it to come down in price. Well, it yeah. finally dropped to like forty bucks through like a super sale on Amazon. Like cool. there was a there was a dealer who was selling it for forty bucks, and I was like. Something's gotta be wrong with this. I'm gonna grab it right now to see what's wrong with it. Yeah. So I bought this thing, paid forty, you know, paid the forty dollars plus. I think I paid like, like seven dollars shipping. So it was like it was still a half price deal. Yeah. And I got it and I put it together and I was and see I love Metal Gear. That was one of the first PlayStation One games that I really played like all the way through. And it's kind of weird. I was like a thirteen year old playing Metal Gear Solid. You know, thinking I was Solid Snake. Now I'm feeling cool because I I, I knew how to like. Voice. <laughs> and so I uh, I started playing like I started playing the game and then after that when I found these I got that I got a uh, solid snake uh, oh what's the it, the, the the Japanese figures I can't remember the name of the company but it's Kabaki's uh, Kabuki's or whatever it's called uh, no not the Kabuki uh, the it, there's a there's a certain uh, play arts the play, play arts, arts that's yeah, it okay, sure. I got the uh, play arts solid snake and the play arts gray fox Okay. The the, cool. the the cyborg ninja. The really nice one, yeah. I got all of that together, and that was like kind of in the middle of my scene. So you can see it in some of my old videos where there's like. Yeah, I want to go back and, and look at some of those stuff. I, I haven't you been back there. Yeah, I, I haven't been back there to look at your stuff, so I need to go back and look at it. Oh, this, and once once I get moved, the the set will come back. Like I said, the, the backdrop of all my toys will be back. You know, because cool. it's. I'm actually working on redesign. Like I've got a room right now in the house that I'm working on that I'm redesigning right now cool. to be my new office slash, you know, game studio. Cool. I can't. Yeah, I can't wait to see. Um, uh, we're, we're gonna have to hang out, and you have to show me your room, cause uh, you know, show me what you have, cause you know, that's all what I always like. I like to see what other collectors have. You know. Yeah. But, you know, there's a guy. I mean, you, you know, David Blooker. Yeah, I mean, he has. Talking about alien, he has every single Kenner alien. I mean, every it, impact. Oh, dude, I'm very off. close, dude. Yeah, yeah, and I mean, he he has an amazing collection. I'm always telling him that I'm gonna walk into his house and just steal everything. <laughs> yeah, let me know when you do that, dude. I've got I've got some pretty good masks we can wear. <laughs> All right, so the next question is, uh, uh, how do you feel collecting has changed? Do you feel it's changed since you started, or is it the same? Or so I've been in the game a little bit less than like you and. You and uh, Omar have, you know. You'd be surprised. Been... I, I'm, I'm kind of recent. Uh, I'm not like I've been. I've, yeah. I've been off and on for a long time, but I'm, I'm starting just getting into it heavy. 
maybe a couple years. So to me, I feel like it has changed a little bit because now people are starting to pay attention to what, what the fans like. Mm-hmm. So, you know, four years ago, I could probably buy all of the Alien Kenner collection for, you know, like every figure, everything like that for like $5 a piece. I could get I could get those parts. Yeah. Now all of a sudden, because people are starting to find the alien stuff popular, because they're starting to get a new push for it, mm-hmm. because NECA's re-releasing stuff and people are looking at the NECA stuff, going, "I wonder why they made it like that." And then they see that there's the Kenner stuff, and they're like, "Oh my god, these were really cool looking." Yeah. You know, it's I've noticed that the pricing value has gone up a lot. Like, I, I when I first started collecting. Those were super cheap. The Gundams that I do, the Gunpla, were yeah. very cheap. Now, I mean, there's kit, there's Gunpla kits out there for like three hundred dollars, and they're the, they're the easy kits, like the kits that I do, like the kits I've been doing. Yeah. Like there's a Gunpla kit right now, the GPO two three like booster kit, which is like this giant kit. It's about that big around, probably. Uh-huh. Like the Gundam is here, and then you've got these two big pieces right here, <laughs> and it's like a giant space station that this thing docks into <laughs> and it's like 289 dollars dude before yeah, shipping wow. yeah well like you said i think it's the companies they're starting to realize that there is adult adult collectors out there and yeah. they're gonna start building you know stuff for them and making stuff for them like um i'm in the process of getting a uh, gundam from um gurren logon and it's gonna run me 300 dollars for that the gundam. oh dude yeah i mean yeah the- it's all metal and everything, and like nine inches tall. So, so these guys right here. Yeah. Years ago, when they did the original release of these, like transforming ones, because this is the one that you can turn into Agamon, yeah. the War Greymon. Yeah. I, I don't know if you watched the video, but I cussed so much in that video just because <laughs> this thing was so. I've always, I've always had a problem with transforming toys. Like I can never do Transformers. Like <laughs> my parents would never buy me Transformers because I'd be like, I hate this. <laughs> Nate. Nate, Nate be, is be rolling right now. Nate Simmons, he, he's, a, he's all about Transformers. <laughs> yeah, and, and that's the thing. is like, I, I like the Transformers stuff. I really do. But the toys, I can't play with. Because I'm, I'm just like, I get so frustrated. Like, the whole behind the scenes, like, Jen's in here, like, you know, playing in my hair. It's okay. You're going to be fine. It's not okay. <laughs> it's not okay. No, no, she, I mean, I'm like, Will Ferrell, it's not okay. Night. She's not in the room today. She's screaming, save, save. Yeah, you're like everybody's always like, save Aaron, save. <laughs> I got this just a few more minutes. I want to see how this plays out. <laughs> but funny. no, like I fought this, I fought that thing for so long, dude. And finally, like I got it to, I got it to transform into War Greymon, right? And I was like, it really worked. <laughs> I'm gonna leave it that way. I'm never touching it again. <laughs> never touching it again. Like I will not touch it at all. Like I tried one more time and I cussed it, and I was like, no, you're staying as all, you're staying as War Greymon. No more Agumon on my desk. <laughs> Okay, so now I know not to get you any Transformers from now. <laughs> oh, dude, if, if they come out with like an alien Transformer, yeah, you can get it for oh, me. They're, the they're in the process purpose. of doing that. I mean, they have to be because they just did a uh, DeLorean. That's gonna be yeah, a I saw Transformer. that, dude. That was yeah, that I looks saw really that, cool. I was like, Whoa. Yeah, yeah, I want that for real. But it's gonna be again. That's probably go back. A lot of that stuff will sh- uh, be like exclusives. Yeah, you can never ever get your hands on it because it's just you know unless you order it after and it's, it's sky high. So. And I will say, like, if, if you've ever noticed that my sense of humor is very dark, so it's like, I have to be careful going on other people's channels. because oh, I, I don't care. Like, With my channel, we're working dude, all you were talking Dude, you were talking about, like, Back to the Future and all that just now, yeah. and, like, I was like, yeah, well, you should see the Michael J. Fox Transformer they got. It transforms into a, ca- a paint can shaker. <laughs> and, That's you know, funny. Like... Everybody, like when I first was on the when I was on the first channel I was on like I was the dark humor guy I was the so you ever watch Game Grumps? Uh, yes, well, Game, me and Emily are big Game Grumps fans, especially like Ninja Sex Party. Yeah. yeah. So whereas my friend, whereas my friend that was on the channel was kind of laid back, kind of like you know relaxed, I was the Aaron where I was like, you know, I would I would drop that joke and all of a sudden he'd, he'd go. Dude, no. Dude, what the heck? <laughs> no. Yeah, you're so... So he was the Danny and you were the Aaron. Yeah, he, he was kind of like laid back. <laughs> yeah. Uh-oh, did I lose you? Oh, there we go. There you go. Okay. Uh, I, 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 no, no, I'm still, I'm still here. I'm still here. We had a... Yeah. Looks like we had a little glitch there. Yeah, I was like, glitch, whoa, yeah. no, no, oh, no. This interview's going so There's good. There's a glitch in the Matrix. <laughs> yep. All right, let's just see. Uh, the next one would be... Do you collect modern figs or do you... Uh, are you like vintage better? Dude, I collect everything. Like I said, I'm... I, I have no, like... 
you know, I like the vintage stuff. Like, you should see my Kenner collection for the aliens right now. And I actually have a few Predators that I've gotten from people. I was like, huh, okay. Like, you one of the what? lots it I got, was, I had uh, a Predator. That was really cool of you to give me those, the ones that you had extra for my birthday. So oh, I'm, dude, like, I if I ever get dupes, I'm giving them away. Like, I, I told, <laughs> when I told Jen about the lots I bought, she was like, you spent that much on toys. I was like, don't judge me. You ride horses. Well, today, uh, I spent uh, $200... Uh, you know, for from uh, from for for a collection, so you know, you never know what you're gonna run across. Yeah, and I mean, like when I when I get these lots, like I, I go on eBay to find lots because I don't get to go out a whole lot, dude. You know, I'm working, I'm working on the house. If I have a little extra money and I don't have to and I don't have to be an adult, you know, I I go strictly Toys R Us kid and go on eBay and start like you know buying an entire lot. Like I'll go look for lots because lots tend to have a lot of extra stuff that I can use. Like, that's, that's my thing, is I'm always a big fan of, like, finding, like, good mystery box lots. Yeah, definitely. And you never know what you're gonna get and find out that, here. That okay. lot, I was not get. I was not, I saw that I had a gorilla, and I've got, like, multiple of the gorilla right now, you know, the, that gorilla alien was the most, like, it, must, it had to be the most under underappreciated figure in the whole, like, Kenner lineup, like, everybody, everybody probably got an alien, got a gorilla for Christmas, like, <laughs> I really want a wild boar, but I got gorilla. And my granddad doesn't understand me. And <laughs> yeah, you know, little Billy's over there complaining. Meanwhile, you know, Susie, Susie got the, you know, Betsy wets a lot. You know. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Um. You know, I, I, I think uh, everybody was like, you know, when they came out, when Kenner came out with those alien things, they weren't really well received. I don't think because you're like, hey, where, where, where do these aliens come from? They're not in the movie. But yeah. I, I actually kind of think they were pretty cool, you know, so, the design. Have you ever heard the backstory on that? Yeah, I've kind of heard it. I mean, I haven't really researched much, but I've heard, you know, that they were. It was supposed to be a, a cartoon that they were. Yeah, it was supposed to be a off. Saturday. It was supposed to be a Saturday morning cartoon, cartoon for, yeah. for young kids to and, young teens to yeah. the adults that watched Alien because yeah. you know, heaven forbid, back in the '80s that you didn't take your kid to a rated R movie at least once in their life, you know. Well, I mean, like, what, Rambo was a cartoon, so... Yeah. <laughs> uh, uh, what, uh, Robocop, you know? Attack of the Killer Tomatoes was, was a cartoon. That was great. Uh, I love Attack of the I remember the theme song, Attack really. of the Killer Tomatoes. I'm surprised they didn't make Critters into a cartoon. Dude, I'm surprised they didn't make, like, you know, baby chest bursters, you know, like, nothing uh -huh. babies. Yeah, yeah, exactly. You know, have these little chest bursters that pop that. <laughs> well, I mean, somebody probably has already done that, at least for now, now nowadays. Is that right? I mean, you see stuff like Deadpool for little babies. Yeah. <laughs> that pulls no way. Yeah, that's for the, the X Force babies. <laughs> now, every time I every time I think of the X Force now, because of the movies, all I can think of is that one dude that was just like in a in a, in a business business attire skydiving. <laughs> yeah, that was funny. A huggy bear or whatever his name was. Yeah. Called him. Or, or what's his name was it the invisible guy. Yeah, he, Brad he, Pitt. Uh, yeah, Pitt. Yeah. Like yeah, I didn't expect him to actually be like real. I thought it was just Deadpool making it up and then yeah, like, that's that's the power thing. line and I'm like, oh he was there. <laughs> that's funny. That was that was a great movie. I mean both God were, yeah, dude. I hope Disney doesn't mess it up, you know? Uh, I got I am worried to be honest. But yeah. you know, I'm always worried about Disney because you know they are the they pretty soon they'll own everything, you know. Well, it'll, be, we'll it'll be Amazon and Disney. Those two people. That's the, that's gonna, they're gonna be the ones that will like exactly. you know, by and large. That's what it's gonna be by and large. It's gonna be yeah, Amazon exactly. and Disney. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> yeah. All right. Let's see where we're we at. Um, what motivated you to begin collecting? So, I, I touched base on that a little bit earlier, but you know, it it, it was kind of like a hobby that I needed. Yeah. Versus the fact that as a kid, like I grew up. So, I don't really tell a lot of people this, but I grew up in a pretty rotten house as a kid. Like, my parents were, my dad was a, my dad was a college professor. He got sick, like, 13 years into his career. Like, he was, he was already moving up. We were going to be getting, you know, we were working on our house, trying to fix it up, because it was an old 1980s single-wide uh, mobile home. Well, if you don't, if you never lived in the 80s single-wide mobile homes, one bad thing about them was is that they were made of particle board. Yeah. And, exactly. you know, South Carolina and particle board do not mix. <laughs> there is nowhere that particle board should be used as the only piece of flooring that you have <laughs> under carpet. Yeah. And, like, we, when Dad got sick, we found out just what it was like to not have. Like, it was, you know, we had, we got, luckily I had a roof over my head, I had food, you know, I'm not complaining about that, but... Yeah. 
I never had a chance to really get the toys I wanted. Like, I had one video game system, and my parents would, like, scrounge together whatever they had for Christmas to get us, like, you know, whatever, you know, get us one thing that we wanted, you know, it was, and I, 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 I think that humbled me a lot, dude. Mm. And so, when I finally started working, and when I finally got into a career that I could make money and still have some left over... I decided to spoil myself because I haven't ever had that opportunity. Yeah. I still squirrel money away like, you know, like um, like the world's going to end and money will be useful, you know. I also have a good collection of bottle caps in case the world do- ever does end. <laughs> I will be loaded. But the question but, is, will it be bottle caps or something else? They I swear to God, if the bottle, cap, bottle, if bottle cap market using. tanks, <laughs> I, will find, I will find something. I will go and raise like a horde of cats <laughs> to use as currency if I yeah, got exactly. to. You know, I will be the crazy cat man that throws cats at people. I'm alright with Fallout references. <laughs> yeah, dude. So, you know, um, but anyway, I got into collecting kind of as like a way to get myself out of that funk and to keep myself from losing my mind. Okay. Like, as someone who has dealt with depression a lot as a kid and as a teenager, it the the hobby of collecting gave me an out. You know, because I'm not artistic, dude. I can't paint. I can't draw. I can't. I mean, I can make fun. I can make funny jokes and you, you know be. If, if you if you try to if you actually sit down and practice, anybody can draw. Anybody can paint. I can tell you that dude, right now. My wife tells me all the time that I can play music, and I'm like, nah, I can't. But she tells dude, me I can. Let me let me tell you right now. <laughs> If, when when it comes to stick figures, they always end up with a third leg. So all my stick figures are male. <laughs> That's funny. <laughs> but uh, yeah, I mean, I, I understand that. I mean, I, when we were growing up, my mom did the best she could, but my yeah. dad, you know, left. And, you know, we were we had to live with my grandmother, and yeah, we, we had we had what we had, which was good. But you know, you didn't get everything you wanted. And, I mean, yeah. that's why I think most most collectors out there would say is that the reason why they started collecting this because they didn't have it when they were a kid and they wanted it so yeah yeah it makes them and happy i mean i was super happy today you know dude I, i'm gonna I, tell you right I, now I get, my stuff you know yeah yeah i'm gonna tell you right now i get cold sweats if i can't get it right away like i <laughs> go get it and i can't have I it, want it. Not feel. it's not feel be like to be like spongebob be like i need it yeah, i don't need it i don't need it i need it <laughs> <laughs> so that's that's been kind of like me lately with the uh, so NECA has this series of like the vehicles from the movie Alien and yeah. Aliens, the mm-hmm. cinema machines. Yeah, those things have got those things were one of the one of the things I was talking about where the price shot up after people got it. Like it's funny because like I wanted it, I wanted them so bad and I couldn't afford them. They were thirty <laughs> bucks a piece and now they're like fifty to a hundred dollars a piece. Wow. Yeah, they shot up big time. So I've been watching this one eBay seller who has not touched it, and I'm not divulging it on the channel because I know people will be watching that are collecting. Let me see Skype it right now. <laughs> you know, I will see. I will see people sniping for it right now. We'll be like, "Look, I will kill you." That's I do funny. play a Soviet character every now and then, so I know will find you. The people. I know where you live. I have a certain, have a certain set of skills. <laughs> So that re- leads to the next uh, question: um, If you could have any figure or anything for your collection, what would be that one thing that you can't afford but you would love to have it? Uh, so back back in about 2018 or 19, Sideshow Collectibles made this beautiful maquette of the Alien King. Okay. A little known fact that there was in the in the Alien comics, it's called the Rogue Alien. Okay. But it also became known as the Alien King because it was a dominant beast in the comics. So Sideshow made this beautiful one thousand dollar, like this tall. You can't really see it from a mic. That tall maquette of this beast, and it has horns, and it's just oh, it's such a beautiful figure, dude. But it was a thousand dollars, and I was like, I can't drop a <laughs> thousand. I have responsibilities. I have lumber. I have to buy. I've got tires that I've got to replace. You know. And I decided that I would hold off on it. Now you can't find it anywhere. Like nobody sells it anymore because mm. it's just it, it it's too expensive to sell. Mm. Yeah, I bet you it's uh, like very rare. Probably if you find it on yeah, it was it was a limited piece to begin with. So. Yeah, that's that's crazy. I didn't even know that's something I didn't even know. I mean, now if I see it out there in the wild somewhere, like somebody just throws it in a goodwill, I'm like, oh shit, I'm picking that thing up. Yeah, if you see that, <laughs> dude, if you see it. Pick it up, because if you don't, if you don't pick it up, 
it's not I like, will I have, got an alien queen see, today. I didn't pick it up and then it's gone. I was like, man, yeah, I, was about to say, I learned was, that lesson today. There was some probably <laughs> fat little midget dude running behind you. Like, He'll never get it now. <laughs> uh, and um, <laughs> that just probably got you demonetized right there. <laughs> no, no, I'm not. I'm not monetized at all. Must I know. I'm not either. You know, YouTube. Subscribers <laughs> up. YouTube's like me all. He, he's a small channel. <laughs> yeah, they, they don't. They're like yeah. whatever. Um, how old were you when you started collecting? So. I will, I will be honest, like, as a kid, I've been collecting things, like, left and right, so toys weren't my first collectible, like, before that, I had, like, old coins, I had shark's teeth, I had, I actually had, like, Everybody and this is, this is what hurts teeth. me so bad, is I had, like, old Star Trek figures, and old Star Wars figures, and Power Rangers figures, yeah. that I'm seeing now sell for, like, $400, wow. and my mom gave them away when I went yeah, off to college. That's me, too. I've had, I had stuff that I... I sold to somebody for a hundred bucks. I'm like, why did I do that? Yeah, dude, I kick myself every yeah. day for not hiding my little bag of toys a little yeah. bit better. Yeah, I should have buried them things in the backyard, but I had the chance in that leather bag because it would have held up. <laughs> yeah. But yeah, I, I really I started collecting as a young kid because I, like I said, I I wanted to hold on to everything I had because it was getting something from my parents was always sentimental for me, you know, yeah. for me. So I, I wanted I was very young when I started getting into like amateur collecting like that and then i stopped after college because i you know i always had that mantra that you know i was a nerd but i wasn't going to be that nerd that walked around with you know i wasn't gonna, i was gonna, i was trying to be more like booger or not booger but i was trying to be more like ogre and less yeah. like booger you know yeah yeah exactly i made a I, see i, I don't know movies i, yeah. I made a revenge of the nerds <laughs> reference and then I, I started realizing after college and after you know i started finding the figures i liked i was like I can't hide it anymore. You know, I like sports, but I also like nerd stuff, and I've, I've got to embrace my nerd side. Yeah. So that's what that's when I really got back into it. Like I said, I, I got back into it probably in my late twenties, early thirties, and that's when I really was like, I got to make a push for it. Cool. Well, I mean, you like I, I've always thought, you know, you have to follow what you love because if you're you're not going to be happy if you don't do what yeah. you like, and you know, or. And even with me, it's been, you know, I, uh, I evolved. I mean, I, when I first started, I was video games and anime, and then I turned, moved into comics. Well, I was comics all the time, but then I moved into, you know, uh, toys, and, you know, it's just uh, evolution. So it's probably the same thing with you. You probably just evolved from what you liked as you yeah. got older, you know, it moved on. You know, so. Which, it's kind of funny you brought up anime. Like, growing up, I used to love watching, like, almost every anime I could get my hands on like Outlaw I, I would come home from school and Outlaw Star would be on or I yeah. would watch you know you know the latest Gundam series that they had on Adult Swim or not Adult Swim Toonami when it was like an afternoon run mm -hmm. and I watched I remember being in fifth grade and my sister was three grade like two or three grades behind me and she no I was in sixth grade and she was in like third or, she was in like third or fourth grade and she loved Sailor Moon so I would always like want to get home so she could watch Sailor Moon, and then behind Sailor Moon was Gundam Wing. Yeah. And so I would watch Gundam Wing and follow that up with Outlaw Star or Roroni Kenshin or you know one of those shows. Dragon Ball Z. You were big into Dragon Ball. See, I never really got into it till I got older. Yeah. Like, you know, I, I a lot of my classmates were all like, Goku is so awesome. I was like, what's a Goku? Yeah, see, that's the, that's the thing. A lot of people were, their gateway was DBZ. I know a lot of yeah. people whose gateway drug was DBZ. So, my gateway for anime was Bubblegum Crisis. Yeah, yeah, I love Bubblegum. So I can sit here and talk to you about anime all night, so we really don't want to go yeah, to the we, we might as well go ahead and just, you know, go ahead and just change this to anime fans. <laughs> um, <laughs> let me, let my, me make sure we write that down. New series, anime, anime guys. Uh, because, uh, I mean, mine was uh, uh, Ronin Warriors. You ever seen that? Oh my god, dude, Ronin... Yep, I gotta go back and say that. Ronin Warriors was my gateway to that and G-Force. Yeah, yeah, Ronin Warriors. Emily, not, not Emily loved G-Force. Not, not, not the hamster movie. Not the hamster movie, of course. Yeah, you know. yeah, yeah, exactly. Or the, the guinea the pig anime. movie. Oh, God, I called it a hamster movie when it was a guinea pig movie. I'm gonna see, I'm gonna hear, you're gonna have an angry fan on it. G-Force was not a hamster. G-Force yeah, was about Emily had, Did you know they made action figures for uh, G-Force? Emily has all of them except for... Oh, nice. Yeah, yeah, except for one of the owl. What was his owl's name? Um, Wait, baby, what's the owl's name? He might be sleeping. I'm trying to remember. I'm trying to remember which one what? was the one that got eaten by the giant plant. What was it, baby? Foodie is an English name. She's yeah, like, dude, I, I love I love like English translations of movies, yeah. you know. <laughs> yeah. So, 
Yeah, I mean, um, we can sit here and talk anime all night, but I don't think we have. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, maybe that's a, maybe we should get together and do that sometime. I, I mean, um, yeah, I would love to do that. Like it's big in anime too, you know. Um, Alex, he's big in anime. I got a God, yeah, dude. I would like, I would like to sit down with him and like yeah. meet you and him do like an an anime podcast. That, that would be really fun. cool. Yeah, yeah, exactly. <laughs> so let's see. Uh, okay, so the next question is, what is your goal or end game as a collector? What What do you want your collection to end up being? So I would like to finish the Kenner collection of Aliens. Okay. Um, I want to make sure that I have all of the Gundams that I grew up with. Okay. And I'm almost there, to be honest. Like, I've got... Dude, nobody sees my bedroom. Uh-huh. Because you can't really see my bedroom right now because of all the, like, boxes of stuff we have that we that we gotten from Jen's parents. Yeah. And it's funny because, like... Every time I turn around, her dad's bring her dad brought down like he brought down a kayak, a, wa- a dishwasher, and all these boxes of her stuff you know, out of his out of his basement. He was like, "I don't want this. I don't want this in my house. It's yeah. yours." <laughs> I was like, "Yes, sir. You're six foot six. I believe you." That's me. Have a good day. <laughs> yeah, he drove all the way down from Baltimore just to bring that down there. I was like, "Oh, okay." Okay, yeah, I can't argue with you. You're not taking this. You're not putting this in my house. We'll leave it out in the yard. And yeah, we were like, talking. We, were, we saw Jen on. I think it was Thursday. Was it Thursday? Yeah. I don't know when we when the last saw her. But we were talking about, uh, you know, um, her, her about her birthday and about yeah. where she, she was from Baltimore. We've been up there a couple times. Me and Emily. Yes. Yeah. We went up there and saw Ninja Six Party. Oh my Baltimore. god, dude! I love NSP, yeah. dude. Yeah, yeah, yeah. One of my favorite songs is "Everybody Shut Up." I have an erection. <laughs> I like cookies. Cookies, cookies. <laughs> but uh, yeah, I mean, Jen, I love. Jen actually, I, Jen I doesn't love... like to admit it, but she does like one song of theirs, Peppermint Creams. <laughs> oh yeah, yeah. Uh, we were, uh, we were, we were, we were staying around Savage, and you know, I was like, she was like, oh yeah, I love this, I like this. Oh Savage god, this, yeah, Savage Mills, dude. Yeah, oh yeah, my yeah. god. Yeah. Like, there is a cool like game shop in Savage Mills. Uh-huh. Dude, yeah. If, you, if we ever get a chance to do a road trip up there one day. Yeah. Like, I know. I, I, we went. Me and Emily were. That's what I'm saying. Me and Emily were there. Um, yeah. I we saw that that game store. It's really cool. It's like uh, one of the board game stores. You know, yeah, like, dude. Yeah, I walked yeah. around there and I picked up like two like barbarians because I was playing the Dragon Age uh, RP with uh-huh. Will. Yeah. And like, I was like, I wanted to go ahead and make my Avar look cool, so I went and bought like a couple of figures. I bought two, thinking, okay, I'll have like an Avar, you know, a couple of different poses I can use. Yeah. But I found out one of them had boobs, so I was like, yeah, that that, that fits me well because I'm an Acon. <laughs> <laughs> grow boobs. <laughs> That's your power. <laughs> yeah, my, 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 my Avar had like this thick, like Scottish, like angry man. Like I, I tried to make him sound like the Hound off of a uh, Game of Thrones. It'd be like, what was it, the Scotsman from uh, Samurai Jack? Yeah. <laughs> so it was like, it was kind of like the, you know, not not quite like the. Oh, look at you! It was more like, I'm from I'm from the Avar lands. <laughs> That's cool. The, the thick William Wallace sound, you know. <laughs> so let's see. Let's. Uh, what is your? Let's see. Did I see that one? Yes. What advice would you offer to new collectors? Um, what would you say if you if you were able to talk to yourself when you first started? What would you tell yourself? Don't give up. Have fun. You know. Uh-huh. Enjoy the hunt. I mean, yeah. that's literally what this is. Is you know, some people some people like to go hunting deers. Some people like to go, you know, hunt for coins or, you know, rare things. Enjoy the hunt. Find find a, a hunting party, you know. And don't and if someone picks up that figure, don't worry about it, you know. Maybe it's not that time to have it, you know. It, you'll you'll find that figure probably for a cheaper and better deal. You know, cuz I I went on a hunt with a with a few friends one time and one of them found this awesome figure from an anime. I I don't want to give out too many details cuz it it kind of is. It was kind of a bad situation with a bad person. Yeah. And like I remember, like the friend, oh, were about it and so happy. And the other person was like, they went and sat in a corner and pouted about it. And I was like, why? It, you know, it's just a toy. We, you'll find it again. There's, yeah, yeah. there's always another store. There's always, always another time. Someplace. Yeah. Yeah. You have I, to pay a little bit more for it. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, you know, you can get it off of eBay if you're so worried about it that yeah. if you want it that badly that quickly. Yeah, exactly. You know, it's it. You'll never you, go out and find what you're looking for. You know, have fun. Okay, well, this was fun. Um, I appreciate you being on the channel. Um, it's gonna be a 40 minute video for you. Oh uh, yeah, well, it's it's fine. Well, like I said, uh, this is this. I love learning about you know this type of stuff. You know. Yeah. And people. 
will sit here and listen to us ramble on all night if we wanted to, really. Oh, God, yeah. yeah. <laughs> we, we, we might as well go ahead and try to play it out like a, like a monthly podcast or something. Like that. <laughs> but, um, yeah, definitely, um, if you haven't checked out um, his channel, uh, please go check him out because he has some really good uh, Let's Plays. Uh, I mean, he'll keep you laughing. I mean, uh, me and my, my my mom watches him. Just so. Oh, God. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. She's always right there in the comments. Yeah, hey. yeah. yeah. She, she's, she's, she, she's become, like, one of his favorite fans, to be honest. Yeah, every time and, I see her, hey, Miss Regina, it's like, and, uh, I, mean, it's, I always it's, say my chats are always like cheers. Yeah. Yeah, Some people want to go where everybody has knows your name. Me and no- and literally because between me and Noah. <laughs> yeah. Every time I turn around, hey, it's Nandi! Hey, Nandi! <laughs> was- I'm going bald, so I, I guess I'm Kelsey Grammer. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to have to start playing the um, this theme song for Cheers right now. Yeah. <laughs> Some people want to go where everybody knows your name. Your name. Unless they have dementia, in that case they don't know who you are. <laughs> um, but this was really fun, Aaron. I appreciate you being on with me. Um, oh, God, dude. It's, it's again, always fun uh, getting to talk with you. Well, you know, I, every so often I get all the guys together and we do a live, which is called uh, toy uh, t- toy time, like the old, you know, tool time from yeah, uh, yeah, <laughs> yeah. So we'll have to have you on there and we'll act the fool together. Oh yeah, dude. But, but uh, thank you for being on and thank you very much. Okay. Yeah, thank you for having me, dude. Uh, anytime. Until next time, we'll catch you later. As always, keep popping those tags. You want to say your uh, your in tag? Do you have one? Well, let's see. There's always thank you for watching, and we'll see you in the next video. <laughs> Later.